Buongiorno, senores y senoritas. Me, John Maffio, also known as Mothman Jones on YouTube. This is Movie Hoppers, but this isn't particularly a movie segment on this particular episode because here I want to talk to you guys about a new show. It's an animated TV show called Rick and Morty, which was created by community creator Dan Harmon and also Justin Roiland. I hope I got that right. But the story is initially, it seems like a parody or a satire of Back to the Future because we have these two characters, Rick and Morty. Rick is a grandfather and Rick, he resembles Dr. Emma Brown. And then we have Morty who is the grandson and he, he sounds like Marty McFly and Marty Morty. Just take out the A, put in the O. Essentially, it's about a grandfather and a grandson. The grandfather is this insane adept scientist and Morty is this loser kid who just wants to go out in the world and they both go on these wacky adventures that are in the same vein as say Futurama when um Fry and Bender and them would go on crazy adventures different planets and this one they just go to different dimensions and there's also a family story going on internally with Morty's family and it brings some heart to the show but the show is one of the funniest animated shows I have watched in my entire life and it's only six episodes in so this is a recommendation video because I want everybody who watches TV to watch this show immediately and you have no excuse to catch up because all six episodes are on YouTube right now and they're only 21 minutes long including credits back in the early 2000s when I first started watching Adult Swim when I was a young lad there were shows like originally Family Guy and home movies that just you know they, they're very fond memories for me but Adult Swim always had this eccentric sense of humor that attracted a wide audience, believe it or not, even though it seems like it would be a small demographic, Adult Swim is a pretty wide thing. And a lot of these shows that are produced for Adult Swim do eventually obtain this cult status. Sometimes it takes longer than others, but this show, I have a feeling, and I'm trying to help spread the word here, that it's going to become a, sh a hit right away. The animation is simple, and it has this weird simplicity in the way that it's drawn that anybody can draw it, but it's also very, very creative with its characters. And there's a couple, for example, you have like these guys called Mr. Meeseeks, and they're these big blue characters with little dotty eyes, but they're the most, they're one of the most memorable things I have seen in a long time in regards to adulterated cartoons. I'm Mr. Meeseeks, look at me! Apparently it's a very improvised show when it comes to the voice acting and the dialogue, but the writing in the show, when there is writing, is pretty genius. And some things just kind of nowhere. Sometimes it'll take you a moment to process a joke, and then once you process that joke, you're laughing, and you might even miss another joke, because it's like, it's like Community, or Arrested Development, where it's rapid-fire jokes that just keep happening and happening, but it's not hard to comprehend the story and the dialogue around these characters. You have the grandfather, Rick, who is essentially Dr. Emma Brown, if Dr. Emma Brown was a raging alcoholic. And he's always stuttering, he's always, you know, just pondering about things, and he's always throwing information out at his grandson, Morty. But he, you know he's a very smart guy, but he's also insane in the head. Then you have Morty, who is the relatable character on the show, but he's very lonely, and he's not the most popular kid in school. And the whole niche of the show seems to be that Rick just forces his grandson Morty to go on these crazy adventures and Morty will keep going, no, no, I can't do this, I can't do this. And then Rick will be like, no, you're gonna go with me anyway. So then they'll go on these adventures and they'll just keep, initially, in almost every episode, they're running away from something, whether it's Hepatitis C, which is a giant monster from Cloverfield, or giant jelly beans that are rapey, or, <laughs> uh, I just mentioned a raping jelly bean. Yeah, that happens in the show. But a lot of weird things happen and it's so creative. Morty also has this complex family that includes a father, a mother, and a sister. So while the show's plots involving Rick and Morty have no bounds or limits, the family aspect is actually very grounded and it brings, again, this heart to the show. It allows this sense of balance that doesn't negate or cancel out the over-the-top nature of the show, but it also creates this grounded reality that kind of feels like everybody loves Raymond, or Family Matters, or that type of thing. And most importantly, the show really, really makes you laugh. I have not laughed so hard at a cartoon show in a long time. And that's saying a lot. In a technological nutshell, I am telling you guys, I am imploring you guys to watch Rick and Morty 
on Adult Swim as soon as you possibly can. All six episodes, if you don't have Cartoon Network or Adult Swim or whatever, are on YouTube right now. Just type in Rick and Morty, full episode or whatever, and they're all on there. They're 20 minutes long, you'll be done with them in two hours. Two hours of your time. There's no excuse. Let's turn this cable over to you guys. If you've seen Rick and Morty and you're caught up to date, it comes back on March 10th. Let me know your favorite moments and episodes from the show so far in the comments down below. And then let me know if you haven't seen the show, if you were convinced to watch it otherwise. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check out Facebook, Twitter, We Live Film in the info box. I'm John Maffio, aka Mothman Jones, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.